Hey guys, it's Resident Evil Freak. Um, I really felt the need to post this. My Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag game review. Uh, I knew this was probably going to come up sooner or later, so I decided to post my review now. Um, first, I want to address that I absolutely have no intention of doing this game as a walkthrough, and that I will be very critical of it. So, if you intend on buying the game, um, I ask that you not get offended but if you do get offended easily then you should probably stop watching right now because this is probably going to offend you um so assassin's creed 4 black flag was announced about a month ago that it was going to be released released by ubisoft later this year as the next assassin's or yes assassin's creed game excuse me and I announced in my three-year anniversary Q&A video that I would not be doing any further Assassin's Creed games because I felt like they would be over-milking it, kind of like how um, Call of Duty and Resident, Resident Evil have been. So, um, first let's kind of talk about it a little bit. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, according to the, um, uh, release, informa the release information that Ubisoft has given, uh, it takes place actually before the events of Assassin's Creed 3, which kind of confuses me a little bit because, you know, it's going in numerical order and we're going back in time. Um, it takes place back in the 1730s. Um, you play as Edward Kenway, who was the father of um, uh, Haytham Kenway and the grandfather of Connor Kenway from Assassin's Creed 3. So we're going back about 40 years, depending on what time period you, you're playing in um, from Assassin's Creed 3. And it goes back to the um, days of piracy and the Caribbean days, back when uh, that was popular. So I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose a little bit from Assassin's Creed. Also, they're giving it a subtitle, Black Flag, and it has absolutely no correlation to the storyline. So what I mean by that is um, they never made an Assassin's Creed 4 where it was just the number by itself. They're skipping immediately to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. That would be like them making Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood without making Assassin's Creed 2. Because that's basically what it was. And Assassin's Creed 2 Revelations, and then they made Assassin's Creed 3. So, in my opinion, if they were going to make this um, little prequel to Assassin's Creed 3, then they should have just named it Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That probably would have been a better um, name for the game. Um, also, another reason why I do not intend on buying the game is because I felt that with Assassin's Creed 3 that they were done with the game, but I can obviously see that this is going down a road where they're going to keep over-milking the game series just so they can, you know, earn a little bit more cash, and that is exactly what I despise about, um, video game companies these days, and just anything media-related, anything where if they started out with a couple good ideas, then they've been abusing it, and they, um... They abuse the, um, how do I say this? They abuse the genuineness, I guess, of the um of the games that really made it. Cause if you actually think about, it, I've said this, I've actually said this before. Assassin's Creed Three was, in my opinion, the best of the Assassin's Creed of the five Assassin's Creed games that have been released, um, overall. But I said that Ezio was my favorite assassin, and that Assassin's Creed Two had the best storyline out of the five. So, um. And, the, and I'm going to explain. The reason why is because Assassin's Creed 2 and Italy and just everything that, you know, came with it, it felt newer. And and the um, Italy, the setting that you played as in Assassin's Creed 2, it felt like it was more of the Assassin's, like, kind of environment when it came to stealth. Because that's, you know, more about what um, Assassin's Creed is made about. It's about stealth and it's about, you know, being silent and stealthy. And I can definitely see um, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag as being a game where that is either is either skewed or it's just completely forgotten, because you know with the Caribbean we're talking we're talking like ships here we're talking small villages, um, and that definitely in my opinion skews away from the um, just the you know the meaning of Assassin's Creed, so. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to judge a book by its cover at all. Um, I'm just, this is not like something stupid in my opinion where I'm just, oh, you know, it's like five bucks and then when I, you know, spent, and then when I'm done with it, then I thought, oh, this was a waste of money. This is a $60 game 
that I continue to invest in every single year, every single Assassin's Creed game, or just any video game for that matter. And I'm not, this isn't something that I just want to blow my money off on and just, you know, be that as that. Because I learned that lesson with Resident Evil 6, that a game might actually look good. In fact, the metaphor, don't judge a book by its cover, actually the metaphor should be, should it should actually be that way you should judge a book by its cover because honestly i'm tired of wasting my money on video games that suck i'm tired of the storylines that suck and i'm tired of just over exaggerated like false replicas of these gameplay that they try to pull off this bullshit and it's just i'm tired of it so um that's, that's basically my entire reasoning behind not doing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Um, I kind of wanted to explain that a little bit before it came out, or just before any releases came out. I don't, I'm, like, obviously you get the point by now, but I do not intend on doing a walkthrough of the game. So, Assassin's Creed, in my opinion, and for me, is over. So, I'm not going to try to pretend that the storyline can continue. And they made it very clear in Assassin's Creed 3 that um that it, it should have ended right then and there but they're going to be they're going to be cash grabs and they're going to continue making games so that they can make an easy buck and I'm not going to give them that I'm not going to I'm not going to pay for their bullshit games so you know if you guys want to buy it and I'm not you know I'm not dissing anybody who wants to buy it I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people out there a lot of viewers of mine who do intend on buying the game and if you want to buy it that's fine you know that's your opinion we all have our opinions there are people out there who wanted to buy it. I wanted to buy Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and yet there's plenty of people out there who criticize people like me who wanted to buy the game. You know, I'm and who knows? You know, the game might actually turn out to be really good. This is just my prediction and my hypothesis on the game. I personally do not intend on buying the game. Um, so, yeah, that basically just sums up my entire review. So. Uh, yeah, enjoy my other games, but Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, I'm sorry Ubisoft, but you should have ended it with Assassin's Creed 3, and that really is all I have to say, so, yep, sorry for the rant for those of you who look forward to buying the game, but you know what, we all have our opinions, so if you want to buy the game, then go ahead and buy it, if you don't want to buy it, then that's fine, that's an extra 60 bucks you have in your pocket, so, yep, I'll see you guys later.